Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back. It is season two of Cobra Kai, episode six. Take a right. There is a million things to talk about. A true throwback episode and a tearjerker. So much to break down. We'll see you guys in just one second. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz Wow. Oh, my living word. This Favorite episode crazy. so far. I think this episode, yeah, this really this really raised the stakes uh, in terms of what to expect from this show. Yeah. I, I really couldn't even believe it. Yeah. They, it was all original cast members. Yes. Yeah, and it was, surpri- it was surprising of their reaction and what their thoughts were. To Cobra Kai coming back. Yeah, and, yeah. and I didn't expect that. Yeah, it's like a really, I think like smart, not just smart writing, but like really poignant writing yes. mm-hmm. to, for, for the writers to go in and be like, okay, not only can we have a nostalgic throwback moment here, but we also can teach a lesson here. Yes. And we also can have kind of a heartfelt like approach to this. I mean, geez, mm-hmm. like that was, that was tough. That was tough. You see the full impact of Cobra Kai. Yeah. Uh, a 30 year impact. Absolutely. So this episode was really, really good. Um, We are more than halfway through the season now. This is a nice pivot point to give a little bit of a foothold to Crease in the dojo. You had to find a way to get Johnny out of there. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't see this coming at all. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the original Karate Kid movie. I've seen it a handful of times. Mm -hmm. I think I saw the second Karate Kid at one point. I I didn't go past two. Um, There's a lot of there's a lot of like like kind of diehards that like as the series progresses and they've they've done some throwbacks. It's really the first two movies are the ones that get referenced here in the show the most. These are all Karate Kid one characters. And that's really special yes. because it's it's the most connected part of this history is that first movie. Yeah. And when they cut and they show for a second, they actually show Tommy's face from the first movie and you see him. You're like, whoa, I didn't even I realize know. you were the same guy until that <laughs> yeah. literal moment. Yeah. It took me by surprise. I wonder just how easy or hard that was to go convince. I'm like, where is this person? All right, get him on the phone. <laughs> yeah. We're bringing them all back. Totally. Yeah, totally. I mean, I think I, I can't imagine getting these guys involved was too hard because I think so. none of them none of them are. I mean, they all they're probably all working, but none of them are like uh, recognizable faces at this yeah. point. Um, but yeah, what a smart use! What a great, great, great episode! I loved it. So uh, the episode actually opens before Johnny goes out to, uh, to to meet the guys with trying to find out who trashed the dojo. Yes. And yeah. Hawk looks at Crease and he says, "I think I should tell him I did it." Because they're having the punishment. Series. Yeah. Yes. They're doing up downs. They're doing push ups. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Crease, they're not Crease. Johnny's really mad. No matter how good of shape I've ever been in my life, ever, like the, even the even the peak moment. Up downs are still terrible. They're horrific. They're, they're yeah, they're yeah. not fun. No, doesn't matter how like it. They are the worst. Um, I used to train people a few years ago, and my I didn't. I, I would have people do up downs sometimes, but uh, I would do this thing called like the ball tower. Basically, it's basically just jumping up and down and then throwing a weighted uh, ball at them and having mm. them toss it back to you and then jump and yes. going up weight oh, and then yeah. down weight. Uh, and after you know twenty minutes, people would puke. And that's <laughs> what it reminds me. Yeah, of. you're you're <laughs> wasted. Yeah. Yeah, the worst. Um, but so. He, and so Chris says to him, like, don't say anything. I'll take care of it. Yes. And there's part of the lesson that Chris says after Johnny leaves that's a valuable lesson, which is that you're all – Hawk did it. Miguel did it. That was right? actually a great moment. You know, yeah. you're all in this together, basically. Yeah. You're all responsible for each other. You're supposed to have each other's backs. So that's the military man in him, right, mm-hmm. is that you're all – but the flip side of it is, like, you also encouraged him to go trash the dojo and steal the Medal of Honor and vandalize. Yeah. So this is where you're, like, Chris's – there's obviously some value to the old Cobra Kai mentality. There's some value. It's just an extreme. He takes it to an extreme. Yes, but but like, you know, he's also planting the seeds for for his ultimate move so that when Johnny comes back to the dojo mm-hmm. and he sees the picture and everything like that, uh, you kind of see that coming. So but on the flip side of it, you have this story with Johnny and he goes to hang with Tommy and the guys and when he when he gets the phone call, like how bad is it? I have to go. I didn't see this coming at all. No, Did I you? didn't know who he was talking to. He was like, it's not his mother. I mean, who, like someone's sick. Yeah. What's going on? Which I think is interesting because over 10 episodes, I think that the certain stories, which is what they did with Tori, brought her in, certainly switched things up a little bit. It, it gets old if you span the same thing over 10 episodes. Yeah. And so to be able to have something like this for an episode, you're like, ooh, it, it knocks you back a little bit, keeps you on your toes, which is great. 
And I just hated that moment when Johnny tells Kreese to just watch, you know, take care of everything while I'm gone. Find you out know. who did it. Ooh. Do whatever you need to do to find out. I was just like, no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty terrible. Um, but so he goes off, finds his buddies, yeah. you know, and, it, and he's like, you know, you're having these flashback moments. They all get on the bikes and they're flashing yes, back. I was like, such wow. a great flashback. <laughs> I was like tearing oh up God. a little bit, honestly. Yeah. You know, because and, and they're like, we got it. He, he doesn't he can't die here. He doesn't he deserves better than this. And it's crazy because you're like, these guys are probably all supposed to be 45, I'd say, give or take. No, I mean, if it's 83, 83 to now, you're 40 years, you're, you're mid-50s. 50s, yeah. It's not quite 40. Or 40. higher. It's not quite 40 years, right? I mean, 80, you're, you're 30, 80, 30, 35, 30, 35, 35, 35 35-ish yeah. years. And if you're if they're all in high school together, so they're like late for like 50. They should Because they're all like high school kids, like 15. 50s. Oh, yeah, I yeah. guess if you're... Yeah, yeah. they're like 15-ish, 16-ish. Yeah. So they're like right around 50 years old. Yeah. And so they're all... And and the thing that was crazy to me was like... I mean, I feel this way now. You know, I'm 30 and I'll go mm-hmm. home and I'll see my friends from when I was 15. And time's passed. We're older. People are married. People have kids now. Yep. You go out to dinner and it's fun. We st- I still feel like a kid in some ways. I imagine I'll still feel like a kid when I'm 50 hanging with those same yeah. friends or 70 mm-hmm. hanging with those yeah. same friends. You just have those memories that you you rely back on and you're immediately transported back and you can talk about things. They're talking about uh, Ally. They're talking about, oh, remember when so-and-so <laughs> dissed you? And so, I mean, those are iconic things. Yeah, and it sets up. You know, they're all on the road together and, they, and they, they're riding the bikes. They go to this bar. The conversation's going and then he drops the bomb that not only has he started a karate dojo. What did you call it? Yeah, Cobra Kai and Kreese mm-hmm. is back, and all of them. It's like trauma. Yeah. It's like they're every one of them is like, "What yes. are you doing? Like, yeah. are you insane? Are you back in the '80s? What happened to you, man?" That's killing Tommy more than the, the diseases. Yeah, that's the, a good point. Like, yeah, the look on these guys' faces. They're like, "That guy tried to kill you. He was trying to strangle you." Were you surprised, either of you, at the reaction from them about I was. Cobra Kai? I was because I didn't think that Cobra Kai had affected them as much as. It had affected Johnny. I thought Johnny was really the one that was the most mm-hmm. traumatized. But no, everybody was traumatized well, by Chris. Because he says, like, all, all that, uh, the world shows no mercy, you know, taking that shit out of the world, you know, how hard it's been to move on from that. Like, he yeah. says it, and you, like, realize that, you know, high school when you're that formative, like those mm-hmm. formative years, and you commit everything. I mean, it's a little bit of, like, the whole high school sports thing. It's not that different. Yeah. I guess the difference is that... High school sports, you might have similar lessons, and I guess in football, you're still hitting people, so it's kind of similar. But if you're, it's karate, you're like trying to kick the other person in the face. You want to like inflict, inflict, yeah. and in Cobra Kai, you want to punch, you know, the way of the fist. Uh, and, and you're being taught by this like Vietnam vet, so <laughs> so that's like that's what's going on there. And so I thought their, I thought their reaction was really interesting. And, uh, and it was like the, the fact that they've realized it all along, where you see Johnny, who has like slowly come to the realization, I think he was very slow and progressing of that, even at this age. Yeah. And it sounds like the other people knew it when they turned 25. Yeah. And they've just had that realization of trying to change over the last 25 years and are finally back normal lives, right? The one's a pastor, others people doing yeah, like regular jobs. Yeah. yeah. And I think they had an immediate, uh, yeah immediate realization i love that he's a pastor and they're kicking ass i know that was so great (laughs) i was worried for tommy though yeah when the fight broke out it's like oh god please let nothing happen (laughs) yeah i know and he throws the they show him throw the one punch yeah Yeah. like at least he hits again yeah yeah you got one last one in but yeah so then after this fight in the bar which is nice and and he tears that he he tears out the gauge is that what those are called yeah Uh, oh yes Yeah. Couldn't you feel that? Oof, I God. felt that one. It's a sweet fight. I mean, it oh, deserved fight. it. It was fun. And it was fun to see Johnny out in the world. Like, he can still kick ass. Like, really kick ass. It's funny, too, because if I think about, like, ever getting in a fight in public, which I've never done in my life. Actually, not true. Once. Got hit in the face. Wasn't great. I was, like, 14. <laughs> um, but, uh, like, you know, as an adult, I've never gotten in a fight in public. Like, because they know karate, it's like the idea that in a bar fight, you would do these, like, sweeping kicks. <laughs> <laughs> these like big kicks to, like kick guys in the faces. If I ever saw that in a bar, I'd be like, "What the hell is happening? Yeah. Why do these old dudes know how to like sweep kick and like roundhouse kick these guys? Like, right? What a sight! What a sight! But that's how they fight. That's how they fight. Yeah, I think karate. It's it's the, how much does karate actually transition to like a real world fight, especially as adults? Yeah, 
I think it definitely helps yeah. when you're going against some people who yeah. know nothing, like in the bar. Totally. That's what happens. Yeah, it's just not, like knocking this guy out. It was great. So um, they get in this fight and then, and then cuts from there to this like fireside chat that we're having yeah. between Tommy and uh, Johnny. And that I was love beautiful. And mm -hmm. he says, I have something to tell you. I never thought I would tell you because I didn't think it mattered. Um, but I was in love with Allie. And I wanted to be like you. I wanted to have the balls mm -hmm. like you because you asked her out first. Yeah. Um, I literally said out loud, who wasn't in love with Allie? Yeah. Was yep. shoe, was. man. Yeah. She's great. Oh, man, there's so much to talk about there. <laughs> um, I know. But, um, but, yeah, I love that. I thought that conversation was so good. And then, of course, cut to the morning. And, and well, they mentioned time. Time. He really focuses on time. The one like, thing that you, you have. The one that you have that I don't. Yeah. You have time. Yeah. And so I think that really impacts Johnny. And I love Johnny's reaction. Time for what? It's like, really, Johnny? You're like that disconnected? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love I love that. I, I loved that. You know, you have time. And it was just a touching episode. I yeah. also think, like, if anybody who's ever dealt with, anyone who's ever dealt with sickness, that kind of sickness, too, in their life, uh, what a, like, what a different tone for the show to take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And a very real one. Like, we, somebody you grew up with, somebody you knew growing up with, that will happen to. Yeah. And you may or may not have the moment that he gets to have to go spend yep. time with an old friend yeah. like that in their final moments. It's all about the quality. Yeah. So, um, but going on, you know, back in back in Reseda, uh, Kreese is running this dojo. And I feel like there's one other thing that I wanted to talk about here. Um, did I miss something, guys? Kreese, new Miyagi. Oh, yeah, the new Miyagi-Do students. That's the, oh, that's, yes. that's the Daniel storyline. Yeah. So the students that had left the dojo in the previous episode, they show back up. And they're like, look, we just want to learn. We want to learn how to fight. And, of course, there's, you know. A lot of work to do. Some friction there. Um, there's some friction there. But ultimately, Daniel is like, we have, to, we have to show them what it's like, you know, the real experience. And he tells the story about he used to be a Cobra Kai, which is a later movie, right? Is that, yeah, see, is that the third uh, movie? It's, either, it's the second, second or third movie yeah, yeah, where he brings it and is like, once you're Cobra Kai, you're always Cobra Kai. And it's like, yeah. no. No. I I wasn't. Yeah, I had forgotten about yeah. that. Yeah, me too. Me I had too. Forgotten about yeah, that. I think I don't think it can be the second movie because I I feel like I would remember that. I think that must be the third movie, unless the Karate Kid Part Three is the one with Hillary Swank. This is this is one of those this is one of those Hillary moments. Swank, what's the you mean the, the what's the one. the Will Smith kid? Uh, Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Well, the, that's the remake, but the third Karate Kid, I believe, is Hillary Swank. With Hillary. It's yeah. either the third or the fourth oh, okay. one. If there is a fourth one, I just only I basically only remember the first two. But point is, um, they he said he tells the story to try to enlighten his students to make them understand what's going on and that they have to accept these new students and they have to train them and teach them and be patient with them. And, uh, you know, they, they starts and Dimitri and Chris have to work together to lift this Which was stone. Great. Mm hmm. Working together, the fulcrum. Yeah. Great education. Yes. there. <laughs> Would it actually work, though? A stone that heavy, two pieces of bamboo. I think there's a physics to it. I think so. You really? gotta. You. It's all about balance. I think you can make it work, though. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so yes, but that's. I mean, that's the storyline that's basically going going on back in the real world. And or... going back, you can make it work using bamboo. When they use the plank. Yeah. It's like that's not going to work. Didn't work. But yeah. the method will work if you use something that's strong enough to. Yes, to bamboo stronger yes. than wood. Um, yeah. So, but so that's what's going on back in the in the city, and uh, you've got Daniel, and he's got new students. He's now got a little bit of a gang. Here's coming together. You know, looks like around eight students. This yeah. is this is the new cast. Now it was interesting. They don't really introduce who these students are by name for the most part. Chris gets some lines. Chris gets like an actual story, but a lot of the rest of the students don't actually get names. But they they are a part of the show yeah. as you go forward, and you never really get their names, which I thought is a little weird. Right, they're like they're recurring characters. Like for instance, for the purpose of what we're talking about, I can like look up the the you know the, there's the two nerdy the kids, two the white guys, kid, yeah. and the Asian kid. I, we can talk about them in like that, but I don't want to. I would like to use their names, but the show hasn't <laughs> told me their names, so I have to just refer to them as like the two nerdy friends. You know, one with glasses, one without. I guess is the best the best way to refer to them because uh, the show doesn't inform us otherwise. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think that pretty much wraps up what's happening in the episode. Um, Johnny comes back. Yeah, the next Karate Kid. Next Karate yes. Kid. That's the one That's the one with Hillary Swank, correct? The next Karate Kid, maybe, I hope? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's the... Th that's the third one? That's the third one? That's the fourth one. one. No, that's the Karate Kid Part 3 is 89. Karate Kid was 84. 86 was Karate Kid 2. That's what I thought. Yeah, 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 totally. So and he's in Cobra Kai in the third one? Uh, I think the third one is when he's a Cobra Kai because yeah. he's being trained okay. by the uh, Billy something. They got the long hair that you see in the 
the guy that you see. It's not he's not being trained by Kreese in that movie. No. Yeah. So um, but anyway, so uh, I'm getting all discombobulated here for a second, guys. Doing so many episodes in <laughs> a row. So uh, so you have Johnny come back to the dojo and he's like. What's going on? And Chris is like, oh, yeah, I'm just making myself at home. I put up this picture. Yeah. You know, I'm teaching these students. How did it go? It was great. Yeah, it was great. And he doesn't really know what's going on. Yeah. So now at this moment in the show, are you guys still invested in Chris? Are you back on the Johnny train? Uh, where, you know, where do you, where do you stand? Seven episodes in. I know. Because it's so emotional. It's so it's heightened so right now. It's so emotional. I think it's definitely setting up for Chris to just do something. There's a big move. He's just biding his time. What about the Stingray guy? Uh, Stingray is he's he's one of the new students. That he's one of up, the new students. But he's not Stingray yet. He's not, he's not Stingray. Stingray yet. Is it? No, okay, yeah. okay. I love that guy. He's the he's head of security character. detail in Itanya. That's that's what I know him ah. from. Okay. Um, but uh, there is a big moment at the end of the episode, of course, where Kreese goes to the Miyagi Do Dojo. Um, and he shows up and he and he threatens Daniel. Oh, that's peace, right. He says peace is just a lull between battles. And that is that uh, this episode. Um, I have it marked here as episode six at the very end of it. Okay, yeah, you're right. That makes yeah. sense. So yeah, so peace is just a lull between battles. And he puts out the cigar in the in the bonsai <sighs> tree and uh, regards to Mr. Miyagi. So bad. Now the weird thing about this, and we're going to talk about this in the final episode a little bit more. But the weird thing about this moment is like I don't know. Where Cree like what Crease sees. Like I, I don't know how he can like necessarily see how this is gonna end enough that he would wanna go to the dojo and threaten him like that. Like what does he gain from warning him? He wants to rile him up? Is that the deal? He just wants no, to No, get... that's episode seven. Are you sure? I'm positive it's episode seven. I took notes. Yeah. That's yeah, it's too far. Oh, I marked it on the wrong one. Never mind. We're gonna talk about that in episode that's a good seven. Question. Stay tuned. Click that link below. Yes, and uh, I think probably just as a quick shout-out before we get out of here, I do want to remind everybody here that after Buzz TV, we, we attend to be the, t the SPN of TV talk. That's what we strive to be every single day, every single week here. We provide tons and tons and tons of content for you guys. So please like, subscribe, and comment. Give us a rating and review on iTunes. It's the best way to support the show, to help us stay high in the standings as a podcast. And, uh, of course, subscribe to the different YouTube channels. There's one for drama, red carpet and events. There's one for superhero shows, reality TV. Whatever you like, if there's a show you like on television, I just about guarantee there's an AfterBuzz show for it with hosts wearing sweet costumes, probably <laughs> just like ours. Um, and uh, yeah, where can folks find you guys? You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at the only MC. And you can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea, Insta Tammy Govea Official. You guys can find me at Ben Bateman Media. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll be back in just a moment with episode seven. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.